What's going on guys, Nasher here. I've got my good friend, Coach Jeremy from How To Hockey here today. Yep. We're here today to do Road To A Slap Shot episode number two. Lots of you guys gave me great tips in the comment section of the last video. I figured I'd bring in a professional to give us some help and we can work on our slap shot and really just perfect this thing today. So what's the plan? Well, I was watching your first video yep. and you're close, so you gotta work on that form a little bit, but that all comes with repetition. What I really know is so you're struggling on hitting the top part of the net. So right. I figured we'll give you a little bit of a challenge. We took the four targets, we put them all across the uh, top bar, moved the shooting pad a little further back, and uh, we're gonna rip some shots. I'm gonna give you some feedback and we'll see if we can improve that shot a little bit. All right, sounds good to me. Let's hop on in. Let's go. So I figured first thing we're gonna do, take a few shots. I'm just gonna watch how you're shooting, take a look at your form, and uh, then we'll do a little bit of a Q&A and then we'll get right back into shooting again. Sweet, sound good? Let's go, let's rip them. Got a fence back there that I don't want to go over. Ooh. Right over the fence, all right. Not bad. Have, have you been uh, practicing since your first one? No, no, oh, no, Okay, no. okay. Not at all. <laughs> so two more shots, all right. Okay. I'll raise it up. Darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. As a coach, I always like to take a look. Usually, what I do is I have my iPad and I'll record, and then we can go through slow motion so you can see it too. Yeah. What I always notice is I can I could tell you change this, change this, change this, and you think you're actually changing it, but then if I record it and you look at it, you'll be like. Oh, I'm doing that's what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, 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 and that's when it changes. Get a friend to record 240 frames per second, get that slow-mo, and then scrub through it right. and watch it. For now, I, I know you said you had a few questions, yeah. so we'll do that, and then I'll get to breaking down, like changing a few things here and there. All right, sweet. All right. Lots of people were commenting on it. So how far down should I be on the stick? Lots of times I feel like I'm way too low. I like the shorter stick as well, so I feel like, you know, I'm all the way down here. This is like, <laughs> yeah. you know. Okay, so, so the two problems that most people have when they're trying to work on the slap shot. First is that they'll hold their stick like they have a wrist shot, like right. they take a wrist shot, yep. and they're trying to slap shot. That That's not gonna work. That now there is fun. some wiggle room, so at least halfway down, yep. and you can drop it a little bit lower. I'd say the lowest you wanna go is two thirds down the stick. So okay. there, there's a range, and it depends, it all depends on your body type and the type of stick that you have as yep. well, right? The next one that I have is feet position. Yep. So my feet, I feel like I'm like awkwardly pointing forward. Should I be like <laughs> straight like this? Should I twist it? I don't know. So, so this is a, a problem that kids have or anyone who shoots off the ice because yeah. they're always like this, right? Their toes are pointed that way, right. shoulders there, and they just step into it. And I'll show there, say the net's right here, yeah. right? When you're getting power, your, your hip can only twist so much when your foot's there, it restricts your movement. So you actually want to open it up like that. And it does two things. One is it opens up your hips so you can get more torque into your shot, okay. right? So you want to end basically with your chest facing at the net. Yeah. When you're here, it's, it's hard to do. You get twisted up there. Uh, the second thing is that it keeps your energy moving towards the net. So you, you open up and step into it and blast. Right now, because that skate is there, yeah. it allows you to transfer more energy towards that. So you get a more powerful shot that way. Okay. I noticed in the video, sometimes your foot was more closed. So if you're shooting, sometimes it was here, sometimes there, sometimes yeah. it's there. So it was like you were kind of playing with it, not finding that that sweet spot. Okay. So it's just a matter of going through the repetition. Well, I think that's very helpful. Um, I'm gonna try to take those things, yep. keep them in here, and uh, try to hit some of these targets. Let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty. So uh, top left to start. We're calling them, we're calling them right up. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's better. That was good. Whoa! Hey, we're getting them in the air. Right, so yeah, just, just play with where you start your starting point, and then there you go. There's one. There's one for you. That's what a powerful slap shot gets you. Nope. Nice, nice. Ooh. So, so what I like to do when I'm teaching is I always like to kind of build up. I, won't, I don't want to give you everything at once. Yeah. Because what happens is I can kind of buckle you. You're thinking about six different things. Right. What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> One thing that I notice is in your backswing, this arm right here, your bottom arm, yeah. bringing the stick up and then pulling that arm in. Right. That's adding unnecessary movement. You can come up, keep that arm fairly locked. It can have a little bit of bend, but you don't want to pull it in like that. Yeah. You don't have to, right? So there, you have that separation right there. And then as you're coming down, that arm is already pretty stiff and you want it to really, really drive in right there. Okay. So just gotcha. try, try to reduce that motion at the top. It's just one extra bad habit that you can add. Last one for accuracy is point with your bottom hand. The guys who are driving, just kind of like point and push it through to the target you want to hit. Okay, we'll give that a go. Three for three right here, right? Three bucks, three, three targets. Three. 
Whoa. Hey, good height though. Dude, good you height. got the height, right? <laughs> Whoa. All right. Get, get the pendulum going. Here yeah. we go. I want that top left one so bad. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! All right, let's give me a couple more tries. Yeah. I'm just like naturally, I just want to like. Yeah, because it's like you want to square your stick up. Yeah. Like, it's like that. That's like the starting point. All right, point. yeah, we'll keep Natural. it like this. Yeah, simple backswing. Woo! A little close. Okay, I've got a good feeling about this one. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a step in. You're going to step into it. This is the one. Okay. Woo! Whoa, oh my goodness. Nice. All right, let's go. Top left. <laughs> oh, oh, he touched it. He touched it. Remember, drive through that bottom arm. Point out where you wanted to go. Hey! There it is. Oh! There it is. He's got it. It, 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 takes, so good. it takes practice, right? Here's a big tip is after you have that good shot, I take a second and consider how it felt. Yeah. Right, because you're good. <laughs> <laughs> right, how, how did the, the step feel? Yeah. Where was your foot? Where was your balance? Like, where was your hand on the stick? Right. And if you pay attention to all those little things, you, you're teaching yourself, basically, you becoming your own coach. Yeah. By the end of this, we'll have that every single shot. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> all right, so uh, snipe the top right. Make it, make it look like I did it first try. <laughs> Practice what I treat. I hit it. Oh, did I, I knock it out? I though? got it, I got you it. You got it? There. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna try to finish this off here. I'm gonna follow Jeremy's lead and hit that top right corner. Let's do it. What do we say, first try? Yeah, of course. Ah. That would have hit one of them. <laughs> oh, oh, it's close. There it is. Oh. It's getting there. Oh. Here we go. Here some go. Height. Yeah, one more. Six and a half hours later. I've been getting money, I've been getting money. Oh, oh, no. oh, we did it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> oh we got you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, practice makes perfect. We did it today. That's one last coaching message to pass on. You gotta be, you know. Persistent. Yeah. You can't give up and it doesn't come just like that. It takes some time. Yeah. It's money. 30 shots to hit that Probably. many? Probably. Probably next, more than that. <laughs> next time you can do it in 20 and then in yeah. 10 and then there's two out of every 10 shots and then three in the point. So you keep on working on it. Yeah. Right? Remember how that felt? Keep on working on it and uh, you know, in Slapshot episode four, five, you're going to be sniping those like every Sounds five good. times, right? Sounds good to me. Hey, I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you guys next episode. Peace.